Hello everyone, Gordon LaPlante here from GCreate, and today we want to do a quick tutorial on how to install firmware onto your printer. Now, this is for pretty much any printer that has an Arduino controller and uh, using a ramp shield, so uh, pretty much any RepRap styled printer this tutorial should work with, but this is obviously tailored towards the GMAX because, uh, because of our sp uh, specific settings and, uh, and whatnot. But um, we're going to be using the Arduino program and the Arduino environment itself to upload the actual firmware. Uh, we know you can do it with other programs, but uh, using Arduino you can actually see the, the, the code that you're actually uploading. So. Hopefully you'll find this useful, and uh, hope you follow along. So first things first, you might be asking yourself, what exactly is firmware? Now, firmware is the program and in, in, in the actual code that lives on your printer. In this case, it's on, a, on an Arduino, so it actually lives on the Arduino itself. And it's what takes the commands that you send it, or it takes the G code that you send it, and actually tells the printer how to move, how to operate, and what to heat up and everything. So when we shipped your printer, it actually came with the firmware pre-installed. There might be times when you want to upgrade yourself to test new firmwares, or we might actually uh, release new firmware upgrades for you. So hopefully this tutorial will teach you how to easily upload the firmware, as well as if you want to venture into it, uh, how to tweak the firmware to maybe open up new settings or try out different, uh, different settings. So we hope you will follow along with us as we install the Arduino environment uh, onto the computer and then upload the GMAX firmware onto the actual uh, Arduino. Uh, we're going to be uploading the single extruder firmware, but this also works with the dual extruder depending on if you have that or not. So, all right, first things first, you're going to want to go to the Arduino homepage. So this is uh, found at arduino.cc. It's actually an Italian company, but uh, it's obviously uh, all in English here. And if you go to the download section, uh, we're going to be installing this on the a Windows computer. Uh, I think there's only, yeah, there's Windows installer, Mac OS, Linux, etc. But we're doing the Windows installer. And as you actually see right here, I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to go ahead and cancel this download. Uh, once the download finishes, uh, you're going to go ahead and, and install it, which I happen to have here. So double click the installer. So now you see in the installer begin. This is your uh, your license agreement. Click I agree. Now this uh, tutorial actually works for two two different versions or two different uh, situations. If you want to install uh, the actual Arduino environment to upload firmware, or if you just want to plug in your Arduino to run it from the computer, you have to install this same program. Uh, that's what the Arduino software and the USB drivers both are for. So my recommendation is to just go ahead and install everything and click next. Uh, it's going to pick the folder for you and click install. Alright, so the uh, installer has completed. Uh, I actually cut out the uh, the actual install. It took about uh, two minutes. It wasn't, wasn't too long. But uh, now you'll see that there's actually a shortcut on your desktop, which I'm going to put here. And this is how you actually launch the Arduino environment. So we don't need the actual... Uh, you can go ahead and close the actual installer and delete the file or do whatever you want with it and now you have your Arduino shortcut. Uh, we're not going to open that just yet. Uh, first, let's go ahead and download the GMAX firmware from the, the GCreate website. So if you go to gcreate.com, uh, and then uh, either you can go to scroll down and go to latest downloads, or you can click the downloads tab or the downloads uh, a portion of the menu on top. Now this will bring you to the uh, the, the latest downloads that uh, we've just uploaded. If you click, um, where is it? GMAX 1.5, if you have the 1.5, or the GMAX 1.0. For now, the files are under firmware and configuration. So this is all the 1.0 files. This is the 1.5 files. So we're going to go ahead and, and uh, install the 1.5 firmware. Uh, then the major difference is that the y-axis motor has actually reversed direction. Uh, if you want to install this firmware anyway, it's okay, but you have to make sure that uh, for the y-axis motor, either you adjust the firmware to flip the direction, or you can actually go into the, the electronics box and actually flip the actual wire connector, and that will also flip the, uh, the actual um, direction of the motor. But anyway, so let's go ahead and go to the GMAX 1.5 single extruder firmware. Again, if you have the dual extruder, this is the one you want, but we're going to be installing the single extruder just because that's what we're doing. 
All right, so go ahead and click download. And it's it's not a relatively huge file. It's about t 12 megs, 11.9 megs. Um, but obviously, I've already downloaded it as well. So I'm going to cancel this. And that's what you have seen here. So it comes out as a zip file. You want to unzip that zip file. So you can either um, right click. And in, in my particular case, I can do extract files uh, to this folder. Or if you're using a, uh, a newer version of Windows, uh, you can actually um, sometimes drag out the folder and that'll take it out of the zip folder. But keep in mind that if you keep your files within the zip file, you can't actually use them. So you have to unzip the file first. Now I have the folder right here. So really quickly, I want to go what's in the actual folder. So if you uh, open it up, you will see that there is a uh, another folder inside of it. Now there is uh, uh, there are a few PDFs that uh, discuss the actual firmware, as well as uh, another folder of the actual files. So let's go ahead and you can read these other uh, PDFs on your own, um, but let's go ahead and open up the actual Marlin uh, files here. Now you'll see there's Arduino add-ons, a README, and Marlin. So let's go into Marlin. And I'm going to go ahead and put this to a detail view. So here you have all of the actual files that are within uh, the Marlin firmware. These are either uh, dependencies or these are whatever. There's, there's a lot of uh, secondary files that actually um, uh, relate to the actual firmware itself. Now, either you can double click the marlin.ino file, and uh, hopefully if you have uh, this all set up correctly, this will actually launch the Arduino environment. Now, the other option, uh, just in case for whatever reason your INO files are associated with a different program, I'm going to open it a different way. So let's go ahead and minimize this. And let's go ahead and launch the Arduino environment. Now, what this will do is actually launch a blank Arduino file, as you see here. So this here is where you can actually make your own files and upload them to the Arduino for your particular project. Now, you might be asking yourself, what exactly is an Arduino? We've, we've said the name a million times. Um, we're not going to go too deep into what Arduinos actually are. They are fantastic, is about all I can say. It's a, it's a very strong um, single board microcontroller that, um, in, in a certain ways, it acts as a mini computer where you can actually upload your own programs, and there's a bunch of inputs and outputs. So it can be something as simple as uh, you have an input which says, if you click this switch, the output will be turn on this light. That's it. Or it can be as complex as, let's say, a 3D printer. So, uh, you know, if, you, if you're interested in Arduinos, please read about it and please, um, you know, check out the wikis or check out whatever you have to do because they are really, really fun and really a, a great way to learn about actual programming for computers or, or robotics or whatever. And it's a relatively straightforward language. Now, what we're going to be doing is uploading our source code, our, our firmware, through the Arduino environment. Why do we choose Arduino? Well, uh, there are many ways to upload your firmware to the printer. You can actually go through a lot of host software and just click upload or whatever. Now, the reason we chose to use the Arduino environment is because this is how you can actually view the actual source code you're putting onto the firmware. And as I mentioned earlier, you can either tweak it and play with it and open up new settings or just learn about how to program for the Arduino. Uh, you know, please do that at your own risk because sometimes you can really screw up your printer. If you're interested, you should be able to read what's going on with the source code. So as I mentioned, uh, you can either double click the marlin.ino file or uh, as you know, we are showing right now, you can open the file through the actual um, um, blank sketch you have here. So if you go to file, open, and then browse to the folder you downloaded and unzipped uh, either on your desktop or wherever it might live. And um, here's the uh, files we showed earlier. Go into the Marlin, Marlin V1 folder. And then go into the Marlin folder. Now what you're looking for is that Marlin.ino file. Again, the reason I'm showing you this way is because uh, if you have INO files associated with a different program, it might not open up directly. So double click the Marlin.ino file. Now this will open up a separate sketch uh, which is the actual Marlin firmware. So you can go ahead and actually close the first sketch because we don't need it anymore. 
So here we are. This is the actual Marlin firmware with all of the different configuration files and everything that will live on your printer. If you click this little down arrow, this will show you all the files. Now there are a lot. Uh, the, the, there's a few that we actually uh, really care about. One is pins.h and the other one is configuration.h. Now, again, I'm not going to go too deep into the actual programming behind our Arduino, but if you look at configuration.h, uh, pretty much everything uh, has a uh, either a, you know a note or an explanation of what it is. Um, you know, the people writing this have done a great job of actually annotating everything about the printer. Um, so you know, if if you're interested, just it doesn't hurt just to open up this uh, this firmware and just look around and read everything. Um, and to see what it all means, but um, again, we're not really going to go into that. It's just there's a, there's a lot of uh, information within this uh, these files. So what we are going to do is upload this to our actual printer. So I hate to whet your appetite, but uh, we are actually not necessarily ready to in, uh, install this onto our firm or our, our Arduino just yet because we haven't plugged it in. So. You can go ahead and leave this program uh, open as far as um, you don't have to close it, but you can actually just minimize it. Now what we want to do is actually plug in our GMAX printer or the Arduino to the computer with a USB cable. So go ahead and take your USB cable, plug it in from the printer to the computer, and you should see that the uh, driver f uh, files will install for the Arduino so that you can actually connect it to your computer. Um, yeah, you should watch the bottom portion of the, the uh, of the Windows uh, taskbar so that you can actually uh, see what COM port your Arduino is. If you missed it, don't worry. You can find out simply by going to your uh, control panel from the start menu. And then depending on your version of Windows you're in, you basically want to get to the system, system setting and then the device manager. To open up the device manager, you can uh, search Google. There's many different ways to get to it, but you're trying to find out what COM port your uh, um, Arduino is actually attached to. So here I have the device manager open. If you go to ports, COM, and LPT, now you'll see that uh, in our particular situation, the Arduino Mega 2560, which is the actual Arduino, is connected to COM5. That's very important because you want to know what port you're actually uploading this firmware to. So again, go to your device manager within the control panel and look for the ports uh, common LPT, uh, LPT section. Now we can go ahead and uh, actually close this again. Now we can actually go ahead and, and restore the, uh, the Marlin environment now that we know what COM port we want. And now that the, uh, the printer itself is actually plugged into the computer. So now if you go to Tools, Serial Port, you should see that COM port that you just saw. It should be one of these. So you want to set your Serial Port to COM, well, my particular situation is COM5. But whatever port that you just saw, that's what you want to set it to. Now you also want to make sure that the board you're using is the Arduino Mega 2560 or Mega ADK. Now, if you, if you want to play with other Arduinos or the, 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 the Lilypad or whatever, there's a lot of different um, great Arduino boards, but we are using the Mega 2560, so make sure you're set to that. Now, lastly, as I touched upon, if, uh, if you want to actually tweak any of these settings, make sure you, uh, you know, save a backup of either this original program or this original firmware or whatever, because if you're going to upload this to your printer, you, you might want not, might not want to overwrite uh, something that's important to you. So, yeah. Other than that, uh, as long as you download the correct firmware, you should be able to upload this, or actually compile and upload it. So, as long as you picked the board, and you picked your your personal correct serial port, which might not be COM5, but whatever one you saw in the control panel, go, now you're going to go to File, Upload. And what this, gonna, it, it, what this is going to do is upload it to your printer. First, it's going to compile it. And then after it's done compiling, you'll see it upload to the printer. Uh, as this is uploading to the actual Arduino, there's a little blue light on the Arduino that will blink very fast. And when it's done, the blue light will be solid or off, depending on um, your setup. So now you see the um, actual uh, firmware uploading to the actual printer. It's not a huge file, uh, but uh, the 
because of the comm speed is actually a little bit slower than you might think, but it should only take 20 or 30 seconds uh, at most. So it's not it's not a very long upload process. There you go. Yeah, it's actually now done uploading. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Now that actual firmware is on your printer and um, you should be able to use it right away. The reason, again, we wanted to show you how to use it through the Marlin, uh, I'm sorry, through the Arduino environment is that uh, you can actually see and edit the actual code if you would like to. So anyone interested in actual Arduino programming, here it is. Uh, again, you can actually upload the firmware through either uh, Ponterface or I believe Repetier Host does it. You know, there's a lot of different host software where you can actually upload your own firmware, but you actually necessarily, you can't edit the actual code or you can't really see what's going on. So uh, it's just nice to know what you're, uh, what you're uploading and if you ever want to tweak the settings, they're all here. There's a lot of different settings. So yeah, we hope um, you found this tutorial to be useful. Uh, and um, if you have any questions or if you like it, uh, you know, shoot us a comment or, you know, I hate to say it, but if you like it, you know, give us a thumbs up because we want to do more of these. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoy and uh, happy printing.